In this video, I want to show you how to use TubeBuddy to grow your YouTube channel. I use TubeBuddy as my secret ninja tool to grow to 10,000 subscribers, and I want to show you how I used it to get to this point. So, are you ready? Hey entrepreneur, it's Salma Jafri from salmajafri.com and you are in the right place if you want to grow your personal brand with video. Be sure to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon next to it so you're the first to know when I upload a new video. I want to share my secret YouTube tool with you, not so secret after this video, which is TubeBuddy. Now TubeBuddy is a free and a paid Chrome extension adds on to your uh, browser and then you can use it to actually grow your YouTube channel, use it to do all sorts of amazing stuff and I'm gonna show you four ways in which I've used TubeBuddy to grow my YouTube channel. And please stay tuned all the way till the end because I have a discount code for you, especially for you to use right at the end of this video. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen now with you so you can see exactly how I'm using TubeBuddy. So here we are inside my YouTube channel and TubeBuddy is installed. So you're gonna see this little icon right here that says TB and you wanna click on this and you wanna to go to Keyword Explorer and you wanna click on Launch Keyword Explorer now and you're going to type in your keyword that you are making your video about. In this case, this one is called uh, TubeBuddy Tutorial. Uh, click explore. Now what I want you to take a look at is a number over here that is total number of search results which is 330,000 in this case. Now this number is super cruel, super, <laughs> super cool, not cruel. You can also see it in the results over here. Uh, right here, 330,000. Okay, now why is this number so important and why do I need to know this number? So in a previous video that I made that I'm going to link to right here, I showed you that when you're trying to rank your videos on YouTube, there are two things to consider, demand and supply. Demand is the search volume, how many people are searching for that video. And supply is how many videos already exist on that particular keyword, which is your competition. So the competition number cannot be found anywhere else except on YouTube. TubeBuddy. So in order to get the competition number, I go into TubeBuddy, type in the focus keyword, and then where it says number of search results, that tells me how competitive it's going to be to rank this particular keyword. And that is going to directly affect whether I can rank my video on page one of YouTube or Google or not. So coming back to TubeBuddy here, what I want to show you is that if you try and uh, play around a little bit with the keyword. So for example, over here, I can see that TubeBuddy tutorial 2018 is suggested as a related keyword to use. And I'm making this video in 2019. So let's type in 2019 here, hit explore again and see if we can reduce that number from 330,000. And yes, we can. So now it is 78. 8,300. So this essentially means that now instead of competing with 330,000 other videos, my video is going to compete with uh, 78,000 videos, which is good because I want less competition to give myself a chance to actually rank my video. So that is one of the key ways that I use TubeBuddy to find out whether I can rank this video or not and what are my chances. Alrighty, so the second way that I love using TubeBuddy is to find tags. Now tags are supremely crucial is that a phrase? Yes. Supremely crucial to uh, telling the YouTube algorithm the context of your video. So it's going to look at your tags and see, okay, what is this video all about? Like, where does it fit in? What is the content all about? And so when your tags start to rank, you're going to see a green number next to them if you've installed TubeBuddy. And that's gonna show you what tags are actually ranking on YouTube and Google. And that's gonna clue you in whether these tags are being seen as relevant or not. So how do I actually find tags? I use TubeBuddy to find these relevant tags so that the YouTube algorithm is going to know what my video is about. And the way that I do that is by looking in this section called most used tags. I'm going to look at this and I'm going to try and find long tail tags 
to put inside the tag section of my YouTube videos. Now, the reason I want to use long tail and not short phrases, like for example, I wouldn't just use the phrase TubeBuddy because it's going to be a little too competitive. So I want it a little bit more focused. So for example, I could choose TubeBuddy tutorial, how to use TubeBuddy, and I'm putting a blue check mark right next to them so that I can just copy paste them inside my video later on. And then I'm going to put in stuff like TubeBuddy review, um, TubeBuddy for YouTube, yes. Um, TubeBuddy tutorial, TubeBuddy for YouTube, yes, uh, the best tool for YouTube creators, and so on. So this list is actually going to help me to be able to rank my videos. And I'm going to show you some examples of ranking. Here we go. This is one example. And here are some others. So I can use this tool to rank my videos over and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> so all of my tags are ranking and then that helps the YouTube algorithm know what the video is about and rank it appropriately. Alrighty, the third way that I use TubeBuddy to get more subscribers and get more views is by using their feature called A-B testing. Let me show you what that looks like. So we're back inside my YouTube channel. We click on TubeBuddy here and we scroll down to video A-B testing, create A-B test now. Now an A-B test is a good way to see whether this works or that works. If you wanna test something, you can use this feature. Now in this particular scenario, I have done a couple of A-B tests and TubeBuddy allows you to test your thumbnails, you can test your titles, you can test your tags, and you can test your descriptions. So in case you're not sure if a particular thumbnail or feature is going to perform, you can use TubeBuddy to actually test it against each other. So let me show you one of the tests that I've done. This one was for a thumbnail. And so these were the two variations. This was the original one. And I felt it was a little too wordy. There are too many words on this thumbnail. And so I changed the text to be a little bit more easy to read, easy on the eyes. And this was the variation. And I ran this test for about, I think it was a month or so. And you can see here that after the test was complete, TubeBuddy said that the variation actually outperformed the original by 28.06%. And you can see that the click-through rate was up. That means more people were clicking on the variation. You can see that watch time was up. You know, more people were actually watching the video. You can see that total watch time was up, even though average view duration was a little bit lower, uh, but total views were up as well. So in general, this variation performed better than the original, and so I I set the variation to be the thumbnail for this video and then that's how we're going forward with this particular video. Let me show you one more test that I performed. So this one was also on thumbnail but in this case the original actually performed better. So the original version outperformed the variation by 26%. And so the original was, was this one in which I used like a chicken and egg analogy. And then in the, in the variation, I just simplified it um, and didn't have that much you know, innuendo stuff going on. But in this case, TubeBuddy said that the original performed better. So in, in every single stat, the variation was scoring lower. And so that clued me in, okay, I wanna keep this one because maybe people are just liking this one better or maybe because of the way the words are positioned this one grabs the eye a little bit more maybe it's a little bit different than what people are used to seeing on YouTube who knows the data it doesn't lie so that's another feature that I love to use and I want to show you one more test that I'm actually running right now this one is on the title so this is in progress at this point and I am running this test until it shows statistical significance at 95% so I'm actually running these two titles the original is how to talk to the camera and the variation is connect instantly on video with your audience using this one simple trick. So I want to test out like a more of a vlog style title to more of a keyword optimized title. And so this test is currently running and I'm quite interested to see the results. One of the most fun ways that I use TubeBuddy is to promote my YouTube videos on other social media networks. So you want to go into promo materials here on the left hand side of your TubeBuddy screen and then all of these options for shortened links come up. So for example, you can link to your most recent upload 
your most popular upload, your channel page link, your channel page with subscription pop-up link. Let me show you what this actually does. So if I copy paste this into a new browser window, it's actually going to ask people to subscribe to my channel with a pop-up, which is going to help to increase your subscriber rate. So when you use this, this little pop-up box comes up. It says confirm channel subscription. Are you sure you want to subscribe to Selma Jafri? So I can't actually see the content until I subscribe. Right. That's a great way to get more subscribers. But now coming back to the promo materials, I want to show you the one that I use most often, which is most recent upload. And the way that I use this is to promote my YouTube videos on Instagram. Now you guys might know that Instagram only allows one measly little link inside the bio, right? And so here it is. So here's my Instagram. And this is like literally the only link that I can put in because I don't have 10,000 followers yet. So I don't have the swipe up capability. So what I do is I drive traffic from Instagram to my YouTube channel. So every time I upload a new video, I want people to go and watch my new video because I want to get more views on that video. And I also want people who may not have received a notification to find out from all of my social media that, hey, I've got a new video up. But it is an absolute pain to have to, up, uh, to, have to uh, update your Instagram bio to your latest video, which is where TubeBuddy comes in and saves me a whole amount of time because I can use this link and it will always take people to the latest and newest video upload. So I just copy this link, put it inside my Instagram bio right here. And anytime I want to tell people, like for example, in this one, I'm telling people that go and watch this video or I think in this one, I'm telling people go and watch this video. And all I say is click the link in bio to see my six tips on blah, 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 right? So that's all I have to say. And I know that as soon as I say this, if somebody's interested in this content, then they're just going to go and click here and it just saves a whole ton of time. The other thing that I love about their promo materials is that you can actually see analytics of how many people are using that shortened link and finding your YouTube videos that way. So you want to click on this button here that says full analytics. And then this is going to show you how many people are actually coming in from where you are putting this link out. So in this case, you can see that Instagram is driving 74% of views from this link because I'm using this link a lot on Instagram, also using it somewhat on Facebook and maybe a couple Couple of other places but that's that's really encouraging to know and you can actually track this data and now for the fun part where you get your discount code to use TubeBuddy so TubeBuddy has three pricing levels and you can use the discount code which is in the description below it's called Salma's Buddy kind of funny and then you can use the link in the description to sign up with that discount code to get 20% off any of the pricing and any of the paid plans. Remember to go after what you want and build a brand you love because you can be the media. And I kind of forgot to say that um, the people running TubeBuddy are really cool. They send me all this cool merchandise, shirts, mugs, you name it. Yeah, that's basically the reason that I'm talking about them. Merch, it's all about merch, guys. <laughs> And serious, they're really great people. It's so much fun to work with them.